Now at four, another first alert action day. Two bomb cyclones in one week helping drive the atmospheric river right into Northern California. The storm right now is mostly north of I-80 with more rain and snow on the way. In the Sierra, people are digging out. This is Soda Springs. Nearly a foot and a half of snow has fallen here. Chain controls are now lifted, though, on 80. And we want to show you downtown Sacramento. Live pictures of a gloomy sky camera. You can see the roads are slick. Thanks for joining us here at 4 o'clock. I'm Curtis Smith. And I'm Hunter Sauer. It's a very busy day here. We have live team coverage once again for you from the Valley to the Sierra on yet another First Alert Action Day. We're going to start with Jeff Harrington, who is tracking this forecast, timing it out with what we need to know right now, Jeff. Hey, you guys. So there were certainly some dry periods today, but the rain has been coming down for Calusa, Sutter County, right into Placer County. We've seen a bit of wet weather as well, but nothing like we're going to see as we head toward tomorrow. I'll show you that in one sec. So yeah, mostly cloudy sky for the next little bit. Temperature wobbling around 60 degrees. Fairly warm with all that cloud cover in the sky. But again, things are going to change in a big way tomorrow. Could even power up some thunderstorms. This will be the worst of the rain for us on Friday. It's going to be particularly active. So I put this forward now to here we are Friday 7 a.m. That's when the wet weather starts to roll back into Sacramento all day long. We will be dealing with this particularly bad as we head toward Friday night. Now, in terms of rainfall amounts, again, I was mentioning it's a bit wet out there, right? So I think by the time today is all said and done, maybe a tenth of an inch in Sacramento. Not much, but again, you head north, Marysville, half an inch of rain, Calusa, there we go, pretty close, uh, three quarters of an inch. Now, check this out. As we roll through Friday, again, keep in mind, pretty much all day on Friday, it's going to be raining. So just before midnight, we could pick up an inch and a half of rain in Sacramento. Again, you go north of that Calusa pretty close to three inches and Chico five inches of rain that's on top of what has already fallen I mean check out some of these Shasta County I saw eight inches of rain but Redding six and a half just under three inches in Grass Valley pretty close to two and a half in Colfax and for us in Sacramento we saw an inch of rain over the last 48 hours but again the worst of it still to come all day on Friday and then we know Wow, it's been snowing up in the Sierra, pretty close to two feet in Castle Peak. Uh, look at that, 19 inches at the Sierra Snow Lab, Soda Springs, uh, 17 inches. So there is a lot going on, and we've got this winter storm warning in play. Heavy snow, I can't even believe I'm saying this, one to four feet above 5,500 feet. That will go, you guys, Friday to Tuesday. So, wow, a lot more rain and snow coming at us, Hunter. All right, we know you're tracking it for us, Jeff. Thank yeah. you. And during a brief break in the storm, more people were digging out in the Sierra making for a pretty busy shopping day in downtown Truckee. Yeah, that's where we find your reporter Brady Hablive live in Nevada County. Brady? Yeah, guys, much busier than it was yesterday. I mean, it is a little bit rainy here right now, but we did actually see some pockets of sunshine earlier today that brought a lot of people out to the streets of Truckee. Now, more businesses were also open for today as well um, as we roll into the weekend. And anecdotally, it seems like there are more cars on the roads as locals and visitors are taking advantage of the clear conditions. This also comes as North Star Resort celebrated its opening day. One of the businesses seeing an uptick in customers as well is Arbor Snowboard Shop in downtown Truckee. The shop staff, many of the um, many of them who are skiers or snowboarders say this is an exciting time of year. Not only are they gearing up for the season, but they're also helping customers do the same. We definitely, living in a small mountain town, have shoulder season, so the spring and fall can be really hard. So it's nice to get the snow on the ground. I know with all the opening days, we're going to start to get really busy, and it'll be exciting to have more people in town and get some more good days on the mountain. Meanwhile, I-80 looks a lot different than it did 24 hours ago. A lot of those snow flurries that we saw yesterday actually have turned into rain, which has helped improve driving conditions. As of now, there are no chain controls in effect, so that is a good thing. And I'll have um, a live look at the road conditions coming up tonight at 5 o'clock, guys. All right, Brady, you've been tracking it all for us these last couple of days. Good work out there. Get warm. The active weather in the Sierra makes for those dangerous road conditions as we've been showing you. Here's what I-80 looked like this morning. A whole lot of snow coming out. CBS 13's photojournalist Dave Grassoff getting this footage for us. Hundreds of Caltrans crews are out working those long hours. They're ready to respond as conditions are expected to get even worse over the next few days. Pretty much we're on storm mode. It's all hands on deck. Uh, shifts are running two 12 hour shifts in both locations so they can stay on top of these conditions. 
Locals say they're excited for the long awaited start of the ski season, though. Businesses getting ready for those visitors, as Brady was showing us. One man we talked to is helping get paths cleared so that people can get where they need to go. I'm going to run this snowblower right here and you can clear driveways all the way up towards uh, heading up towards Donner Ski Ranch way and then just both sides of the road and all the driveways and just people's access to their homes. Trucks behind him there really tell the story of just how much snow they've seen. Many resorts are opening up early yesterday. Of course, we were at Heavenly today. North Star was the next to get people on the slopes. Well, spin outs are a concern in these conditions, of course. Your reporter covering Sacramento County, Tori Apodaca, went behind the wheel with a driving instructor getting answers on how to handle the roads. Tori? That's exactly right. The cars that are traveling behind me on 50 right now aren't up against the rain, but that doesn't mean that those dangers don't still exist as the roadways are still very wet. And like you said, that's why I got behind the wheel with a driving instructor today to learn more about how you can safely drive in rain or in snow. Now, the owner of Bond Driving School in Sacramento, Henning Mortensen, says there are three things you should do before you ever turn on the engine of your car this winter. Check your tire tread, have good working windshields, and functioning lights. He says the first rains of the season, the oil gets brought up from the asphalt, making it more slippery. It could cause your car to hydroplane or essentially glide on the wet road. As soon as they uh, feel the slip, they want to stop the car. So by trying to hit the brake to stop the car, you're going to spin around. So it's going to make it worse. So what do you do? Mortensen says do not hit the brakes hard or it could cause your car to skip on the water. Instead, when you start to feel the car slip, you want to counter steer, which could be a confusing term, but it means to turn the wheel in the direction that the car is slipping to to avoid a fishtail or full spin out. And it's also a good reminder that when you're driving with your windshields on, that also means your lights should be on. Coming up at five, we're getting more answers on what you can do to stay safe on the roads. All right, Tori, thank you. We, can, we are going to have continuing coverage of this storm all week long. For more on your first alert forecast, including that minute to buy minute radar, just visit CBS13.com. We are always streaming on CBS News Sacramento.